What's going on? Will Freeman, RevolutionaryLifestyleDesign.com, coming at you from the new place. Have a look. Overlooking the mountains, man. No more planes, although you can see the planes flying over the mountains. But I don't live there anymore, baby. So it's going to be a lot quieter, a lot more peaceful, better views. And uh, you guys aren't going to have to listen to planes fly overhead or two construction projects that started. And I won't have to either, which is just as important. And I want to talk to you about how to be happier by getting addicted to the helper's high, okay? After having, I'm 36, after having spent the bulk of my 20s being selfish, I realized that helping others makes me happier than almost anything in this world. Uh, for the last six months, I've been coaching clients. I was coaching unofficially until the last month and a half or so before I officially launched, and I've been coaching clients to achieve their best life, and nothing makes me happier. It's probably the high point of my day. Not just being able to get on the phone with a guy, but being able to get on the phone, hear the excitement in his voice, hear, you know, solving his pain points, solving problems, uh, getting him fired up, probably makes me happier than anything in my life at this point. And it's a totally different experience than when I was in sales, selling products I didn't believe in, with unethical managers, um, clients who didn't particularly treat me well. Even though I wanted to help, I felt like the whole mentality of pretty much every sales job I worked was was take as much as possible and give as little as possible. You know, I had, I had jobs where they would measure guys on how much margin they took from a client. You had to make a certain amount. Instead of, like, giving to the people, you were expected to take as much as you could. And uh, I never adjusted to, to that life. I hated sales, uh, loathed sales. No one hates sales more than I do. I can tell you that. And... I've realized this is a totally different experience because that's something I'm passionate about, you know, helping guys with their health, wealth, relationships, lifestyle, super passionate about, super believe in and super something that I really, really love helping guys with. And happiness is the same emotion as love. Okay. Love and happiness is the same emotion, whether for a cheeseburger or a girl or for God, whatever it is, when you're happy, you're feeling love. You're, you know, you're driving your motorbike and you just love being alive. You love the nature. You love the girl. Happiness and love is the same deal. So giving and receiving love is the best way to be happy. And a lot of the way to do that is helping people. You know, when I think about my life and like the times that I feel best, it's like helping a girl, taking care of a girl, helping my mom, um, helping my friends, helping my clients. That whole deal makes me happier than probably anything else. When you're depressed, when you're falling into a depressed state, I don't believe in depression. I've had some extremely depressive states that I chose to be in, okay? And I'm not trying to mitigate anybody's pain, but when you are consistently finding yourself uh, choosing to be in depressed states, one thing I can guarantee is that you're not helping people. Usually what's going on is that you're sitting at home and you're, uh, you know, you're feeling bad, you're feeling down, you're feeling depressed, you're feeling de-energized, or you're sitting on the couch by yourself, thinking about your life, feeling bad about things. Okay, I'm not just trying to say that the pain's not real. It's totally real. And a tremendous amount of people suffer from depressed, from uh, being in depressed states. Okay. But what I'm saying is that that makes you happy or makes you unhappy. Right. When you're, when you're in depressed states, okay, and I'm not trying to uh, mitigate anybody's pain here. You're not helping people, right? You're inside being selfish. And I'm talking about someone, I've been through this myself many, many times. Okay. I was being selfish, being there by myself instead of out there helping people, okay? And and in reality, the selfish thing to do, the actual selfish thing, because when you're depressed and not helping people, you're hurting yourself. The actual thing for your self-interest is to be out helping people, okay? There are billions of people suffering from problems with their health, problems with their wealth, problems with the relationships, problems with their lifestyle. Dude, you solve any of those, you can make a lot of money. And the more people you help, I mean, you can help hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands, millions of people. I want to change millions of guys' lives by the time I'm dead. You know, I'm 36 now. I've reached 8 million, I think 8 million views total since 2012. I want to reach, you know, hundreds of millions of people. And I want to change lives of millions of guys. Okay, you don't have to have a huge reach. You can help thousands, tens of thousands, 20 thousands, 20 thousands of clients over a period of your lifetime. Okay, whether that's solving their real estate problem, their insurance, their, you know, copywriting, marketing, advertising, you know, making them more money, taking away their headaches, solving their health problems, like getting them to lose weight. Um, you know, if you're a fitness coach, you can save people's lives, man. 
it's that serious and get paid for it, okay? I'm not saying to go out there and be a martyr and, and to only do volunteer work, although I think if you do volunteer work, you know, I, I commend you for it. I don't, I don't. I, I keep saying I want to do it, <laughs> but I'm not there yet. I feel like I'm, I'm able to help a lot with my platform and get paid for it, so I'm, I'm staying with that right now, but there's a point in my life where I want to be able to give away 10% of my income. I'm giving a smaller portion away now and you know be able to devote maybe a sunday to to to, to you know helping less fortunate people I don't, I don't feel like i'm there yet i feel like i have too much to do in my business but i'm telling you to help people because it's going to make you happier and it's going to get you paid and getting paid makes you happier and it's a beautiful thing when you have a, a service business that helps people okay and if you pick the right service business you're going to help a lot of people you help them with their advertising needs with copywriting that's going to make them more money okay you help them with real estate which is going to make the money if if they're selling the house it's going to make them uh give them peace of mind and happiness if you find someone they're the right house and, and solve that problem it's going to solve a lot of headaches uh you sell insurance you can give them peace of mind i mean the list goes on and on like you got to change the way that you think about sales and the way that you think about business in terms of like you know you master a skill you hone a skill something that can solve a problem like dude it's unethical not to sell that it's unethical not to help people it's unethical not to ask for the clothes because there's millions of people out there that need your help and your gift and and not honing that gift not maximizing that gift staying inside you know that's selfish that's unethical going out and trying to help as many people as you can during the day and get paid for it is ethical man and it's gonna get you wealthy dude I mean you help 10,000 people over a lifetime I mean whether it's real estate or insurance or or fitness or marketing or lifestyle I mean you're gonna you're gonna make a lot of money and you're going to help a lot of people and you're going to be known for your reputation. You're going to feel not just wealthy, but you're going to have the self-esteem of feeling good about yourself. You're going to have the self-esteem of feeling um, useful. You're going to have the self-esteem of feeling like a worthy person because money, success, there's, there's two pillars. There's one that's the success pillar that makes you feel good. But if you have no self-esteem and self-worth, it's like all the success in the world isn't going to help you. You know, you're going to be in a Jordan Belfort situation where he's robbing people, you know, or he, he used to be, you know, scamming people for, for these millions of dollars, getting sued for it. And he's, he's got to take a tremendous amount of drugs just to get through the day. And as you can see in the movie, Wolf of Wall Street, he's going to prostitutes that are, you know, you know, dominatrixes and abusing him because he feels like he needs to be punished. That's that's the mentality. So he has all this money, but he doesn't feel good about himself. Because he's not helping people, he's taking from people. So it's like, you know, it's a lowered state when you're not helping people, but it's a far, far, you know, it's the worst state is when you're when you're robbing people. Like, look at any pictures of like a criminal or a thief or, you know, guys who make a living on that. They're they're the least happy people in the world because they're not helping anybody. Okay. When you pick a service business that solves the right problem, you not only make money, you can make your six figures and seven figures if you pick the right business, but you get the gift of helping people. And if you don't do that, you're, you're robbing yourself out of one of the best ways to get state. Okay. In a lifetime, you can easily help thousands, if not tens of thousands of people, if not millions, if you start broadcasting online, which you can do for free. Okay. So if you chase only success, you get what's called a Pyrrhic victory, which is something that seems like it would be a victory, but it's actually not because you're not getting the self-esteem and the happiness of helping people. And I think you can have both. I think you can have the financial sec, uh, success and the self-esteem success from, and you can drive a lot of it from your business. You're going eight to 10 hours a day, helping people, making money, price tagging your services accordingly so that you feel you're getting appreciated and your time's valuable, over delivering on, on customer service, making sure that every client's satisfied as much as you possibly can. You're gonna feel great about yourself. You're gonna make more money. You're gonna get referrals. You're gonna get happy clients. You're gonna be able to solve people's problems. Um, and the list just goes on and on. So by not helping others, you're cheating yourself of one of the greatest joys in life. Or if you're unethical and, and, and doing worse, you know, like, like not just not helping people, but taking from people, you're robbing your emotional bank account to pay your financial bank account. And that pile of money is cold consolation when when you don't feel good about yourself and you don't have sort of that self-esteem. And, and I can tell you, I chased a lot of success in my twenties. I wasn't ripping people off, but I wasn't, 
you know, committed to helping people like I am now. Like I think about like, what can I do for my clients today? What can I do for my friends today? What can I do for my uh, readers today? And I think about that every day when I'm waking up. Of course, I'm thinking about how I can make money because it's a business. But I mean, I'm thinking about what value can I add because I know that I'm going to get money from that. And I know that um, I'm going to get the joy of helping people and seeing the comments and, and all these other things. So I think it's really important to consider like if you're not maybe where you at, where you want to be in life financially or emotionally, why don't you change the whole reality to like how many people can I start helping and, and price tagging that to get paid accordingly. And I'm telling you, it's going to change your life for the better and you're going to get addicted to the, uh, the helper's high and it's a beautiful thing. So hope you're able to enjoy that. All right, man. Let me know what you think in the comment section.